Welcome to Wicked Quick. Today I just wanted to go over some siege settings that will get you the most balanced as well as high frames per second. Uh, I'll go over setting up display settings as well as the graphics settings. Uh, so let's just jump into it. Okay, so the first thing we want to set up is the display. Uh, just make sure that you know you have the proper monitor selected here. It's not your backup monitor or anything. And then below that, you're going to set your resolution, whatever your native resolution for your monitor is. Uh, always have the game in full screen mode. You're going to get much better performance. Uh, and then turn your refresh rate to whatever your monitor is. Make sure that's set, obviously, or else you're not getting uh, the proper refresh rate. Uh, and also do that in the Windows or NVIDIA or AMD control panel. Make sure you have it set to the proper refresh rate. Aspect uh, ratio, you can set that to audio. Auto, it'll be fine. Uh, V-Sync. I have that turned off. Um, I would recommend turning it off. It might add a little bit of delay uh, if you have it on. Uh, and then field of view. The field of view is something that is a preference kind of thing. Typically, like people like to have a lot of it. Um, I have mine at, set at 74 because I feel like that's a good balance between enough field of view and performance. Because keep in mind with field of view, the more that you increase the field of view, the more that you're rendering so the less frames per second you're going to get because it's more work on the GPU. All right, let's jump over to graphics. So right now I have mine set to custom. Some people might have it set to ultra. Um, I have a GTX 1080, uh, and so I like to keep mine on custom, and I'll show you what I change. So typically for my textures, I'll have that set to high. Uh, texture filtering, I, I literally just turn this down to linear, um, or you can keep it high up. I'll show you in a second. It really doesn't make too much of a difference, but drop mine to linear. Uh, some of these settings, actually, some will affect your frame rate more than others, but uh, my LOD quality, I just have that set to very high. Um, it's not, this isn't a game where there's a whole lot of stuff that loads over distance. Uh, you're not in these massive maps, but, you know, I, I just have that set to very high. Um, shading quality. Shading... I'll usually turn that down to medium. Um, and then shadow quality, I try to keep that as high as possible because that's really where if an enemy is standing in front of a light or moving through a hallway, you can see their shadow. That's literally what it is, the shadow quality. So that actually has a great tactical advantage to having that as high as possible. Uh, and then reflection quality, I don't care to have it super reflective, so I just keep that at medium. Uh, ambient oculation, I turn that off. Lens flare, I don't care. I'm not in a movie. I'm playing a game. I have that off. Zoom in depth of field. I don't want anything messing with uh, when I zoom in. I just want it the, the standard. Uh, TAA is crucial. Some people might have this as off. That is not good for performance. Um, FXAA, none of those. So let's just go back to standard TAA. And then these are your two, and these are your two items that are going to make the most difference. Uh, primarily being the rendering scaling is going to increase your performance pretty drastically. I have a 2K monitor. I'm actually, and it actually tells you it right here, uh, I'm actually rendering it at 1812 by 1020, even though if you go back to display, let's just apply those changes. When you go back to display, I'm, my resolution is 2560 by 1440. So that's my actual render. So it's a lot less pixels, but then it makes it look proper on screen uh, after it outputs it to your monitor. Um, so I have this set at 50, and then I have my TAA sharpness set to 80. So let's go ahead and do a quick benchmark. Okay, so benchmark results. Uh, so the average is 172 frames per second, which is pretty good. Uh, maximum is 428. Uh, and then the overall, uh, sorry, the overall for minimum is 75. So, as you can see, 75 is kind of low. Like, I, I wish the minimums were a little bit higher. But I'm also using Streamlabs OBS to record this. So, uh, and I'm using NVEC, which is an encoder that's on the GPU uh, instead of the software. So, I'm, I am getting a slight performance hit there. Uh, but, as you can see, it's, like, very high. I know the average is above my monitor's refresh rate, but having the higher refresh rate than your monitor is actually better because your monitor is then receiving the most updated frame possible. So you actually do receive a benefit from 
having a faster render rate than you do a faster refresh rate. Uh, and also it brings up those minimums a little bit. So 172, I have a minimum of 75, but if I tuned my setup to do 155 frames per second on average, uh, my minimum would be a little bit lower. So just to show you the difference, if we put the render scaling to 100%, so that is my native resolution, 2560 by 1440, hit apply, and let's benchmark that now and see what we get. So as you can see, the benchmark results for this, it's 51, 120, and the, the maximum doesn't really matter too much. But as you can see, we're 50 frames per second lower on average with the scaling 100%. Uh, and then we're at 20% less frames per second uh, on our minimum, which obviously minimum is really where you're going to see like a major performance decrease, uh, where it's really getting, you're going to be like, wow, okay, that sucked. Okay, guys, here are the final settings that I would recommend to you. So, texture quality high, texture filtering linear, LOD quality high. Uh, this is for a 1080. And shading quality medium, shadow quality, try to keep that as high as you can. Reflection quality medium for me. Amb ambient occlusion off. Lens effects definitely off. Zoom in depth of field off. Uh, and then anti-aliasing, I'm going to go with uh, temporal anti-aliasing. Uh, render scaling of 50% for me, personally, to keep uh, up that high for a fresh rate. Uh, and I just left TAA sharpness at 100. Now, some of the benchmarks had some drastic fluctuations between frames per second. Uh, and that may be due to the fact that I'm overclocked and it might not be the most stable. Or it could also be because I'm using Streamlabs OBS uh, with the NVEC encoder which is using some of my GPU. But the point was to show and display how changing the settings in Siege can get you the fastest frames per second with a healthy balance of quality as well because nobody really wants to play a terrible looking game. All right, well, that sums it up. Uh, I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, if you guys want to check out what I use to game and stream and all that, uh, you can check out some of the Amazon affiliate links uh, down below. If you use those, uh, it doesn't hurt you at all, but it actually kicks back a little bit for me to help support the channel. I also uh, stream pretty much every weekday from 6 to 8, uh, and then on the weekends. So go ahead, check out my Twitch if you could, uh, and I'll see you guys next time.